Welcome to the Venanti Studio. Today I want to show you how to create this balloon Easter basket that's eight feet tall and you can stand inside. This makes a wonderful photo op for spring or Easter themed parties and it all starts with these 12 inch white quick link balloons. Now these are special because in addition to the nozzle end they also have a tail and this allows us to tie them together in special ways. I'm also using an electric balloon inflator as well as a balloon sizer box to size all these link balloons to 10 inches in diameter. Take two of the link balloons and inflate them at the same time until they're almost their full size. Then we're going to use the sizer box to get them to that 10 inches in diameter by gently pressing that balloon against the 10 inch hole and slowly letting air out until the balloon just fits through. Do the exact same thing with the second balloon before tying them together into a pair. Wrap the nozzles around twice and tie them together in a simple knot. Repeat this step until all 40 link balloons are tied into pairs just like this. Then take two of those pairs and tie them end to end with the tails that are available on the end of each of those. Make sure when you tie your double knot, you pull them really tight so the balloons are touching each other. Repeat this step until all the link balloons are tied into strings of four. Then take two of those strings and tie them end to end so we end up with a string of eight balloons. In total, we need five of these strings of eight balloons to create our basket. Next I'll inflate 68 5 inch balloons using my hand pump to 4 pumps of air each or about 4.5 inches in diameter. To make that process go faster, I'm going to tuck the nozzle of that first balloon under one of my fingers holding the pump while I inflate a second 5 inch balloon to the exact same size. I'm using an assorted bag of 5 inch balloons in pastel colors and as I tie all of these into pairs, I want to make sure I'm getting a nice assortment of colors when I tie them together. Now it's time to start weaving the basket. So take two of those eight link strings and set them on the floor side by side and tie the tails of each of those strings together. This knot will be the center point of turning these two strings into a ribbon. So from that knot, realign the two strings so they're side by side again. And then from that knot, count two balloons down from it. And then the nozzles that are after that second set of balloons, I'm gonna tie those all together using a tiny balloon pair. So slip the balloon pair so it's right up against the nozzles of that link balloon, Take one of the tiny balloons and wrap it all the way underneath and back on top and then twist those two tiny balloons around each other. Then place one of the tiny balloons on the front side of the link balloons and one of them on the back. This will secure the link balloons into what looks like a basket weave as well as hold all those link balloons nice and flat. From that tiny balloon pair, I'm going to count two more link balloons down to the next set of nozzles and secure another tiny pair to that joint. Do this three times down the string and then when you get to the end, you'll tie the two remaining tails on the very end of those strings together and that will give us one solid ribbon. Repeat these steps to make a second ribbon in the exact same way and then lay them on the floor side by side. We're going to join these together to create the body of our basket. So anywhere that the nozzles touch with those two ribbons sitting right next to each other, we're going to join them together with another small pair. So slip the pair into a gap between the balloons in one ribbon, pull the bottom balloon underneath that joint and up towards the top twist those two tiny balloons around each other, and then just like we did with the ribbon, put one balloon on the front of the basket and one on the back. Do this at every joint between the two ribbons, paying close attention to the colors of the tiny balloons you're putting right next to each other so we don't get too many of one color in a certain area. Depending on how many people are gonna be using the basket, you can optionally add some balloon weights to the bottom edge of the basket. This will help hold the curve that we'll create in just a moment. And to tie those in place, take the nozzles between two of the links and wrap them around the center of those balloon weights and tie them with a double knot. Now, whether you add weights or decide not to, we want to add some tiny balloon pairs to every nozzle that sits along the bottom edge of the basket. So take one of the tiny pairs and wrap it around around the neck of that balloon weight and twist those two balloons around each other, making sure one balloon sits on the front of the basket and one sits on the back. If you're not using balloon weights, simply tie the tiny balloon pair to the nozzles of the link balloons that sit along the floor. Next, we need to add some support to our basket so that it can stand upright. 
And to do that, I'm gonna use this balloon stand that's four feet tall and is made from plywood and PVC parts. And I'll have that tutorial linked above if you'd like to make one as well. On both ends of the basket, slip the stand between the first and second link balloons on the ends of the basket. The stand should be nestled right against the three sets of nozzles that are going up vertically through the basket. To secure the stand to the basket, I'm gonna take two tiny balloons that are running across the center of that basket and wrap them so that they're on the same side as the pole. With the pole sitting right in between them, twist those two tiny balloons around each other and then put them right back in their original place so one's on the front and one's on the back. And at this point, the pole is captured between the nozzles of those two tiny balloons. At the moment, the basket is about eight feet wide, but I wanna put a curve in the basket so there's a place for people to stand. To do that, pull back on the stands at the ends of the basket and press forward on the center of the basket until it's about six feet wide. This will give people a place to stand and also be the perfect sizing to make the handle from that last string of eight balloons. Now the string is pretty floppy and we need to stiffen it up by making some balloon quads. So take two of those tiny balloon pairs we made earlier twist two of them around each other and that will lock them into a quad. I'm gonna attach these quads to the string between each of the link balloons. Simply slip the quad around each of those nozzles and then take the two balloons with the link nozzles in between them, wrap them around each other and that will secure the quad to the string. Do this at every intersection between the link balloons and this will give us a handle sturdy enough to stand. Tightly tie the tail end of the handle to the nozzles of the basket that are sitting right next to the balloon stands. It's critical that as you're tying this knot, you pull the balloon of the handle down tight against the balloons of the basket, otherwise our handle might end up kind of floppy. To lend a little extra support, slip in one of those tiny balloon quads around this joint, twist it in place just like we did all the other quads, and then orient the quad so that two balloons sit on the front of the basket and two balloons sit on the back of the basket. This will support our handle so it stands nice and tall. With the handle in place, I then took the nozzles of those two link balloons and wrapped them around the top of the stand and tied them in place with a double knot. That way the top of our basket is nice and supported. I attached the other end of the handle to the basket in the exact same way. If you'd like a little extra help building your own Easter basket, I've got a set of written plans available in the description box below. These include detailed step-by-step -step instructions, full color illustrations, as well as a complete supply list. For more information, check out the description. Now once the handle's attached, go along and adjust all those quads so the handle is in a nice arch and the colors are evenly distributed. Finally, take the remaining two tiny balloon pairs and attach them to the nozzles along the top edge of the basket. With the final balloon in place, this basket is ready to be a focal point of any party or celebration. If you enjoyed today's project, you should check out this one. And until the next time, remember, stay creative everybody!